So guys, welcome back to Cryptic TMG and we're going to be doing the second part to Meta versus Motec and what I decided to do instead of doing a LFM race or a couple of LFM races because conditions may vary, you're probably not going to get the exact same conditions in two different races. So I decided what we'll do is we'll do a hot stint. Now I made the weather exceedingly hot so the tire should wear even quicker. Everything should be a little bit more drastic. The fall off should be a little bit more drastic. So we're going to do 15 minute stints. Then we're going to have a look at what the tire wear looks like in the first sort of 15 minutes and see which setup is holding the, the tires together more and which which one we're going to be able to, you know, take into a, a longer race situation, which setup will be the best for you. So um, hopefully it works out. Um, I've definitely made it pretty hot, so it should be kind of crazy, but we're going to push. We're going to hammer it. This time I'm going to do it the other way around. First, I'm going to use the Motec setup. Then I'm going to use the Meta setup because last time I used the... Um, the meta first and then by the time i was doing the motec i was so used to the um so used to the class so yeah we'll do it the other way around this time and hopefully we get a good reading to see which setups do make it at the end but let's get stuck into the video so guys we're going to be using the the meta setup and as you can see i've got 100 liters of fuel in because i want it to be like an accurate reflect reflection of like a race stint so i made the car heavier um all I've pretty much changed is the brake ducts and we've got the correct tire pressures for the temperatures that we're going to be racing in. Track temp is 36 and, and the air, track temp is 47, air temp is 36. So um, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. So let's do some laps and see how it goes, man. Let's see what we can do. Tire pressures, everything done. 100 litres of fuel. There we go. Remember, this is the Motec setup. So it's going to be interesting to see if we can keep the exact same tire pressures when we go to the Meta setup. And let's try to stay consistent. Obviously, lap times will be quite a bit slower because of the fuel and the temperature. Pressure's not ready yet. Got a little bit of sliding through there. the warning for that lap. First lap 43 zero. Temp slower that lap. See how warm the tyres are getting. Totally missed the apex there.
I'll be careful not to overshoot the last corner. 42.7. Oh, just lost the back end that last corner. The tires are already going off. Big slide. Oh, we managed to catch it. Jesus. These temperatures are definitely lethal. They're starting to struggle with the rears. We, we got about half distance before the tires really started to, well, the rear tires really started to feel like they were giving up. So this is the final lap. feel the sliding rear end wanting to come round some corners feel okay others Really feel like a lot of work. Again, I have to be way more tentative on the throttle. Right. There's the first stint done, nine laps. And it was up and down, to be honest, man. Definitely, definitely up and down. So, fastest lap was a 42.7. And then pretty much low 43s afterwards. These two laps, probably an anomalies, we had pretty big mistakes. But I'd say probably that the, the average lap time is at, at 43.1 from what we're seeing here. We did two quick, quicker laps on the 43.1, um, 43.2, 43.1. I'd say around about average is probably a 43.1. Our first lap was a 43.0. So um, we'll keep that in mind. 43.0 was the first lap and 42.7 was the fastest lap. So um, we're going to go ahead and jump into the other setup and see exactly how that compares um i'm not going to include these two laps where i made pretty big mistakes because you know <laughs> mistakes can happen um but we will go with the majority of the rest of the laps because they were kind of close when you think about it most of the most of the time i was in the 43s i dipped into the 42s earlier on but it just seemed that the car started to get a little bit squirmy man to get a little bit tricky to drive but it was still instances where i could sort of match the middle sectors for the most part our, our sectors were pretty similar apart from on our fastest lap where we just seemed to nail it so um yeah let's get stuck into the other setup though so now we're running the meta setup and um yeah pretty much as you can see it's a lot more aggressive in terms of tow now to be honest most of the time 
if I'm doing a race, I don't actually run the front toe all the way to, to the minimum. I normally run like like 3.0. So I'm going to do that because I, I normally run the, the max negative toe if I'm in quali just to get the turn in. But for a race, I do normally change it. So um, I'll change that. Um, this is all good. Same amount of fuel. We're running the exact same tire pressures as well. Um, 100 litres. Pretty much exactly the same as what we had in the other setup in terms of brake ducts as well. And as you can see, the rest of the setup is just completely different. Maximum, minimum, everywhere, pretty much. Um, yeah, this is this is it, man. This is the setup. So let's see what this setup can do and compare it to the other one. So let's go. Time to try the meta setup. So I did what I did before with the Motec setup. I did one or two laps just to get my eye in. And now it's time to do the stint. It should be interesting, man. Let's see if we can spot the differences. A little bit more understeer, I would say, so far. Yeah, definitely struggling to get the nose in a little bit more. Okay, I think I have to brake slightly earlier as well. Oh, almost lost it on the curb. Big mistake. We definitely lost quite a bit of time with that mistake, but we'll we'll push on. No mistakes this time. Forty two nine. About two tenths off of the Fastest lap from the Motex out. You definitely can't break as late. Point eight that time. About a tenth and a half off. Oh, we are struggling with breaking into T1. I think the car is definitely more comfortable in the slow, slow corners. A point eight again. A decent first corner this time. Definitely not as good over that curb. But I think it does have potential to be faster, man. That 
was the first genuinely sketchy moment in terms of the car not feeling right. Awful last corner. Oh, that was way better. It's a little bit lazy through there. I can't believe how much better it is in the slow speed, man. In terms of stability. the lap guys 0.5 two tenths quicker or a tenth and a half quicker wow Jeez. I don't have to tell you that that was quicker. Um, even if we discount the two slowest laps from both of the sessions, the two laps where I made a mistake, 43.7 and 43.6, it was quite comfortably a couple of attempts faster, man. And what's weird is, is that um, it didn't feel amazing, you know? It didn't feel great. Apart from, I would say the slow corners, there was definitely an improvement in terms of how sketchy the back end would get through the slow corners on the on the Motec setup. But with the Meta setup, it was just so easy to put your foot down, and you can see why. I believe it's running the um, the bumps and the the uh, rebounds on zero on the um, on the dampers. You just literally get no. It's just no wheel spin whatsoever. So. When you get on the power, that's why people are able to run 1TC or 0TC because there really isn't a lot of, um, really isn't a lot of wheel spin. Now, I could have used higher power mode for the Honda, admittedly, but I just wanted to keep it even all the way through. And, um, I would definitely say, man, um, yeah, it's, it's a weird one because the Motec setup felt a lot better to drive. It generally felt nicer to drive until the tires started falling off once the tires started falling off it became very very tricky and with the meta setup it kind of it never really happened you know there wasn't really wasn't really a feeling of a fall off i mean you had a, a couple of times the car would get a little bit sideways but in general it just felt like i could continue to go faster if i if you know if i was doing a longer distance let's have a look at the, the tire wear and stuff i feel i was i think even the tire wears is this the right no this is the right s7 so the tire wear is similar as well 
entire way is pretty much the same. Um, we'll actually, we'll actually like look at both the exact numbers, but I'm pretty sure the tire wear is almost identical. You have to say like it started off better with the Motec setup. I feel like with the Motec setup, when the car's fully gripped up, it feels great. But once you start losing a little bit of grip, once you, you know, get into the race a little bit, you can feel the car like slipping away a little bit. With the Meta setup, it was just, it was a little bit more understeery, but it didn't give me anything to worry about. The braking wasn't as good. Coming off of the curbs definitely wasn't as good. There was more mid-speed understeer, more slow-speed understeer. But for whatever reason, <laughs> it was just quicker. I don't know why, but it was just quicker, which is weird, you know? And maybe that's why I was able to to go faster with the Motec setup in Quali because Quali is pretty much perfect grip, you know? Perfect grip settings, low fuel, you know, you can push it to the maximum. But in the race, I don't know, man. For me, the meta setup felt better. What I'd love to do, maybe... In the future, I might do a, a sort of a hybrid because I kind of want some of the dampening from the, the Motec setup because when I come off the curb, I still feel like I'm having to count the steer a little bit. Whereas in the Motec setup, it was just nothing. As soon as I hit the curb, it was fine. But um, other than that, man, I have to give it to the meta. It just, just had more potential in, in, in race pace and... What I, what I made sure I did this time as well, I did a few laps before I started recording, so I wasn't just going into it cold. So I had had practice with the Motec setup, you know? So it's, 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 it's tense, man. It is tense. And it's kind of why there, there is such a stigma with ACC at the moment in terms of these meta setups, because you can't beat them. You can't beat them. Even if you could go faster with the Motec setup, the difference is going to be very, very small. So is it worth spending hours and hours and hours on making a setup just to perhaps go a tenth quicker in one individual lap when you can literally match it or even beat it with the meta? It's crazy, man. But what do you guys think, man? I will go through both setups quickly. Um... This is pretty much what we did for the for the race setup for the meta setup. And as you can see, it's just it's pure just I didn't test any of this by the way. This none of this was even tested. I literally just threw together what I knew to be a meta on other cars. I'd never tested it in the Honda before. And it just out of the box it can just work, you know? And Metas have literally replaced the ACC default setups. People will just slap on a meta setup as a default now because you just you just don't need safe or aggressive setups anymore. Everyone knows they're completely and utterly trash. There is no point. If you're new to ACC, I'm sorry to tell you, do not use the default setups. They are horrendous, right? Grab yourself. I oh know. Grab yourself. <laughs> Sorry to say, grab yourself a little meta setup, man. If you if you if you just want to know what to do quickly, just grab yourself a little meta setup. Unfortunately, it's the way how the game is, but you know, it's pretty much what everyone's using. So it's 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 sad, man. It definitely is sad. It takes away from the game. It definitely takes away from the grind. I'll save that. Well, and then we'll open the the Motec. And I was, what's crazy is I was using more rake. I was using more rake with the, um, with the mare setup. And it felt less sketchy. Crazy. So this is what we were pretty much using, um, for the Motec setup. It had the histograms were pretty good on this as well. You can see the tire wear is like almost identical between the two. Let's have a look. This is, this is. This is tire set five that I used for the Motec setup, and I think I used tire set seven. That's tire set seven. Slightly more wear on the rear, I think. 
Yeah, slightly more wear on the on the rear right, I think. Other than that, not too much difference, man. But I did have, you could say I did have a much bigger moment with the Motec setup. So probably the tire wear with the Motec setup is probably a, a bit better because I had a massive slide. Um, and still the rear tire wear is actually better. So I would put that in the favor of the Motec setup. And you can understand why that, that would work. But the slow corners, man, it was just horrendous. Um, and that, that is the Motec setup, which is, if you open up Motec, looks pretty good on the histograms and everything like that. But race pace and race trim, the meta just seemed to be that bit quicker, man. But tell me what you guys think, man. You've got both the setups. If you guys want to try it for yourself, you can do so. Just pretty much just jot down what I've done. But anyway, guys, Cryptic TNG, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace. Thank you.